Good evening, good evening, guys. Hope you guys are having a day. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope everyone is feeling the love. Uh, welcome to senior night. We would like to recognize those and seniors first. We ask that you guys come up. I'll go that list you guys and hope that you accept them. Our first senior that we'd like to recognize is number two, Willow Wright. Good evening and welcome to the Lady Cats Den here at Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on the cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Standing on camera, senior night here, celebrating our seniors. Our three seniors, Alexis Christensen, Ella Gillespie, and Haley Mitchin. Got a nice little pregame ceremony for them. M playing the Milton Yellow Jackets tonight. Milton controls the tip, shot up, doesn't go, rebound. Gillespie, as once again I try and get myself set up up here at the broadcast position. Okay. Line up some numbers and names here for you as quickly as I can. Nice crowd here tonight. Support the ladies on their senior nights here. Final home game. Should get a playoff game next week. Referee uh, Randy Miller calls a travel on that one. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen, Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Lady Cats come in on a 17-game win streak. They have not lost since their opening game up in Enosburg. Caitlin Davison puts up a shot. 
going to count it. And she'll go to the line to complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned lane. Uh, JV team finished undefeated this season. Coach Allison Blaney coming in. And uh, I tell you, the future's bright for Lady Cat basketball. Undefeated JV season. One defeat so far on the varsity season. This is Marley Bushy. Tessa Luther on her. Swings the pass over. Willa Wright. Goes to Abigail Farrar. Looks inside. Was trying to get it in there to Kendall and Mason. Gillespie got a hand on it. They'll reset it, try it again. Rutherford. Here's Bushy. Blocked down by Gillespie. Mitchett with the rebound. Hillstorm with the rebound. Here comes Caitlin. Pass over. Pass inside. Back out. Tessa. Haley. Over to Ella inside. Oh, blocked out. Abigail Ferrar read that pass. Got a hand on it. Wish a happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there as well. Playing this game on Valentine's Day night. Blocked by Bushy. Bushy goes coast to coast. Can't complete it, though. Tessa takes a three off the front of the rim. Thought it was going to go. Rebound by Abigail Farrar. Maley Rutherford running the show now for the Yellow Jackets. Alexis Christensen out on her. Inside, Gillespie got a hand on it. Gonna have a foul. Foul called on Tessa Luther, her first. 544 left to go here in the first. Cats up to zip. I believe this is Marley Bushy at the line, shooting two. It's a freshman. Short. That went off the front of the rim. Rebound, Mitchin. Gets it over to Davison. Alexis back to Caitlin. Caitlin takes a three, makes a three. Kick, 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 Caitlin. Five points for the junior. Student section comes alive. And Coach Liz Bushy wants a timeout. With 5.18 left to go here in the first, and the Lady Cats up by a score of 5 to nothing. Busy week for basketball here. We had a boys game here last night against Thetford that was huge. We saw Tyler Rebarn score his thousandth point with about nine seconds left. Thrilled to call that one. Great, great game. And uh, the boys will be back in action tomorrow night against Lamoille. Girls will have a playoff game at a date and time and opponent to be determined. It will be here at the Den next week. Boys will close out their season next week. Thursday here against Randolph will have their senior night. Yellow Jackets coming over from Milton. Found out Milton was the was the filming location for some of the scenes from the uh, 2000 movie Me, Myself, and Irene. Had uh, Jim Carrey and Renee Zellweger in it. Did some filming over there. Yellow Jackets. See if Coach Bushy has made some adjustments. Willa Wright mishandled that one. There's Ella. Gets it over to Tessa. Passes back Christensen. Davison. Open for a moment. Ella Gillespie. It's one of the players came down from Crassbury. Mitch it inside. Hailstorm, her first points of the night. Cats press.
wide open over there was uh, Kendall and Mason. <laughs> Foul called on Ella. Her first as her and Mason collided down there underneath the basket. Short. Second shot. Good. Kendall and Mason, a freshman, puts the Yellow Jackets on the board. Turnaround, double team. Throws up a shot, tipped away by Mitchett over to Tessa. Tessa wants to go back inside. She's double teamed. Ella and Bushy fight for it. She gets it up to Caitlin. Pass inside. Mitchett gets fouled. Abigail Farrar. We'll send Haley to the line. We played Milton back on Tuesday, January 10th. They came away victors 59 to 28 as Mitchett misses on her first free throw. Good on her second one. Three points for the senior. Makes it an 8-1 score with 4-10 left to go here in the first. Cats press. Yellow Jackets operate their press break. Farrar goes to go takes it in. Abigail Farrar cuts the lead to five. I'm gonna call a blocking foul as Christensen lost that one off her foot. Foul called on Marley Bushy, says referee Randy Miller. Our other referee tonight, J.B. McCarthy. McCarthy blows his whistle. And Bushy picks up a couple of quick ones there. Sending Haley Mitchett back to the line. Strong on the first one. <laughs> Nothing but net on the second one. Four points for Haley Mitchell. Press works. Caitlin takes a three off the rim. Gets her own rebound. Back up. Wants to drive in underneath. Nowhere to go with it. A couple of white jerseys over on the other side. Alexis, she'll take a three high arcing shot off the front of the rim. And Hailstorm's going to get rung up. Yellow Jackets will inbounds. Cats will press. See the Yellow Jackets operate their press. Uh, Farrar, nice to get up ahead. Abigail Ferrar, nice move to break free for the more or less wide open shot up there underneath. <laughs> Foul called on Tessa Luther, a moving screen. Brother Ordy explained that to me uh, the other night before uh, the boys game. And there's like three different variations of what you can do, you know, depending on whether they have the ball, whether they don't have the ball, allowing movement, they got to be able to roll off them. It's, it's you know, in my mind, I, I sounded a lot pretty complicated to me. Wide open underneath there is Grace Williams. Couldn't get the shot, though. But the referees are well-schooled. They know what to look for. Caitlin up underneath, drives underneath. Seven points. But it has to do with how a screen is set. 
is, is the whole nine yards. Ferrar underneath saves it in back to Williams. Nice play. Grace Williams gets in there. We got 11 7 game. Within four now, 2.35 left to go here in the first. And Coach Randy Lumsden wants to time out. Talk things over. The girls have uh, had a little lapse here in the first quarter now. Got nice write ups in the uh, program tonight about our seniors. Uh, Alexis Christensen, she's been playing since third grade in her free time. She likes to do arts and crafts. After uh, graduation, she's going to NHTI. Her favorite subject in school is math. Uh, her favorite basketball memory, she says, I was a freshman, I happened to get a concussion. It was so hard to watch my team play without me. The game that I came back to play, we were playing against Rivendell in the playoffs. It's probably the best game I've had in high school. I was scoring a lot, I was playing good defense. It was my first playoff game ever, and I was so nervous, but I was happy with how I played the game. I think I remember that game. I might have been at that game. Seen Alexis compete in the uh, Knights of Columbus free throw contest as well. I believe she won one year, if I remember right. Christensen underneath. And today being Valentine's Day, it's also her mom's birthday, so we'll wish Carrie Christensen a very happy birthday. J.B. McCarthy play, uh, calls a foul on Abigail Farrar. Cats will inbounds with 2.15 left to go here in the first with a four-point lead. Caitlin trying to get the feed that one into Julia DeGrosslier, who's in now. Off the glass, doesn't go. Caitlin comes down with it. Sarah Collier getting ready to check in at the next opportunity. Caitlin takes a three, makes a three. Kick, 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 Caitlin. Just like that, she's in double figures now. 14-7. Cats doubling up the Yellow Jackets right now with 140 left to go in the first. Inside, looking for Bushy. Collier checks in. Ella Gillespie comes out. I think on the previous offensive possession, she wasn't in the position that Coach Lumsden wanted her to be in. Nice. Got a foul called on the floor for a hold. So Sarah Collier checks in and promptly picks up her first foul. Uh, each team at five fouls, so a few more to give. Shots off. Williams comes down with the rebound. Talking with Coach Lumsden before the game, he said, they control the rebounds, you're going to control the game. So I'm sure he's looking for a little bit better rebounding right now. Davison, long three. Kate, 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 Caitlin. Took that one about from the scorer's table. 13 points. Caitlin Davison who has been scoring at a torrid pace. I think she had 25 this past Saturday against Blue Mountain, if I remember correctly. Pass up ahead, Isabel Gowan, the speedster. Davison, short on that one. Foul called on Kendall and Mason. With 49.4 left to go in the first quarter. Cats up 17-7 now. Extended the lead to 10. Davison at the line. In and out. Kendall and Mason checks in. And Abigail Farrar will come out. Second shot. Caitlin is good. Makes it 18-7 with 45 seconds left. Bushy high off the glass, doesn't go. Williams with the rebound, though. Grace Williams with four points. Offensive board and the points. That one doesn't go. Rebound, Yellow Jackets. Bushy pushes it up ahead, speeding up underneath, gets a shot, doesn't go though. Rebound Grosliers is a little bit of a scramble for it. 
It was Kendallin Mason up ahead. Coming back now, Wildcats way. Pass inside, Julia, turn. Wants to go, turn back off the back of the rim. Nice move to get the shot off, just couldn't get it. Caitlin rips it away from Williams. Foul called on Maley Rutherford as uh, Caitlin went in there and just sort of ripped the ball right out of her hands. Off on her free throw. Second one rattles in. And that's going to end the first quarter with the Cats up 19-9 over the Milton Yellow Jackets. Sort of a seesaw quarter. So let's go ahead, and then the Yellow Jackets went a little bit of a run, sort of closed the lead a little bit, and then we went on a run at the end. So good basketball here from the Den tonight. Lance on with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera. Glad I remembered her name tonight. <laughs> no brain skips tonight, I hope. Uh, our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Once again, celebrating our seniors, Ella Gillespie, another senior. How long have you been playing? She's been playing basketball since fifth grade, but only one year with Hazen. Um, she's played for Crossbury Academy. In her free time, she likes to spend time with friends and family. She loves adventuring outside. Um, her favorite basketball memory is just having the chance to come to Hazen and play with such a fun group of girls, make new friends, and play competitively and have it pay off. It's just the support from the community at Hazen is something I will never forget, which is truth. We do support our teams up here. That is, that is the truth. And uh, what do you plan to do after you graduate? I plan to go to college, study exercise science with the hopes of becoming an athletic trainer. And her favorite subject in class, uh, subject in school is science class. So yes. Community support is just uh, unparalleled, I think, here at uh, at Hazen. As Julie DeGrosier gets the turnaround, got some nice crowds coming in here. The signs are made. You know, you see the banners. You see a lot of you know a lot of people put a lot of work into making Hazen Union Wildcat sports tick. Nobody's going to catch Isabel. <laughs> Isabel Gowan, freshman, two points. 23-9, 7.25 left to go in the first half. Gowan gets the pass. Here's Caitlin. Caitlin, long three off. And Sadine Martin. Checks in. Willow Wright comes out. Bushy with the ball. Inside, turnaround. It was Martin letting her presence be known inside. Foul called on Alexis Christensen. Yellow Jackets has some uh, impressive height out here with some of these girls. Tall. Short. Scramble. In the end, Martin picks up her first foul. And we'll be shooting one and once. We're now in the bonus. That was the uh, team fouls are up to eight now. So that's going to send Sarah Collier to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Haley Mitchett, Ella Gillespie come back in. Julia DeGrosier and Alexis Christensen come out. What? 
Sarah Collier looking to make good on both her free throws. Off on that one, rebound. Farrar. Here's Caitlin. Blocked out. Blocked out with authority by Bushy on that one. Bushy passes over, short shot, short. Rebound, Caitlin. Referee J.B. McCarthy blows his whistle. Calls his foul on Martin. I'm going to go with Sadine Martin, I think. He's going to send Gillespie to the line. And Isabel's going to come out. And Bailey Christensen will go in. And Sadie Skorstad, another student, has come down from Crassbury. We got mass substitutions going on in here. Uh, Bailey Rutherford goes back in for Milton. And I believe Grace Williams is back in there now as well. Gillespie misses the front end of the one and one. Foul call on Haley Mitchell. Both teams in the bonus now with 6.05 left to go in the first half. So we're going to be shooting some free throws. Martin at the line. Doesn't hit the front end. Ball. Plinko's around. And Coach Liz Bushy wants a timeout to take things over with 6.03 left to go here in the first half. Let's see. I think I have one more senior I can read about from the uh, little bio sheets that we have in the program today. Haley Mitchell was our other senior. She's been playing 10 years in her free time. She likes to spend time on the family farm working. Her plan after graduation is to attend, attend SUNY Alfred for HVAC. Her favorite subject in school is math. So yeah, the girls have won on the road. They've won at home. Good season. And once again, our, our JV team finished undefeated this season. A tip of the cap to Coach Allison Blaney and our JV team. Rutherford gets it out to, uh, that is, uh, I'm going to go with Sienna Tomasi. Tomasi. With Bailey Christensen on her, the B to the A in the AB Christensen connection. Foul called on Bailey Christensen. It's going to send Maley Rutherford to the line. Misses the front end of the one and one I'm seeing a lot of missed free throws out here. I think uh, the girls are going to have to all be reporting to the gym. 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Nobody leaves until you make 100 in a row. Attack. Martin tries to get inside to Williams. Williams has had some luck inside. Pass back out. Tomasi shot up, doesn't drop. Rebound. Gillespie gets it to Caitlin. Gillespie going to take a three. Missed a three. Caitlin saves it back in. No, nice save. Rutherford over there to grab it. 
Here comes Marley Bushy. Pass over to Massey. Drive inside, throws one up off the glass, doesn't drop, rebound. Mid, uh, yeah, Haley Mitchell. Up ahead to Bailey. Caitlin takes another three off on that one. Rebound to Massey. Nice switch. High off the glass, doesn't go. Easy rebound for Mitchell. Twenty-four nine your score. And that one goes off of Bushy, so we'll set it up again. Who do we have going in? Number fifteen. I don't have a number fifteen on my score sheet. I have a thirteen for Abigail Ferrar. I don't know if it's the same number fifteen as as the J V as Isabella Kang, but I'm not sure. Turn around. Ella Gillespie. 26-9, your score. Farrar, short on the three. Re in there underneath is number 15. Again, I don't know her name. I just got the number. Caitlin. Pass over, wide open underneath. Bailey doesn't drop. Rebound, Bushy. Ferrar going to take another three. Short. Caitlin comes up with it. Ferrar checks off on her. She ducks underneath Bushy. Caitlin wide open underneath is Bailey Christensen. Wide open is the sophomore. 28-9 your score, 304 left to go here in the first half. Turnaround, doesn't drop, rebound Caitlin. And Ella not ready for that one. Bushy getting it into Mason. Bushy's going to bring it up. We got Ferrar. We got Willa Wright back in. We have uh, Ella, Alexis, Bailey, Haley, and Sadie out there right now. So both the A, there we go, the A to the B of the Christensen connection. Back to Haley. Swings it over. Alexis going to take a three off the rim. Rebound. Milton went going way up ahead. She's looking to go way up ahead. Mason couldn't come down with that one. Alexis to Bailey looking to go inside to Haley. Two minutes left to go here in the first ca half. Cats up 28-9. Bailey gets it to Haley Mitchell. Bailey, cross guard Alexis. Here's Sadie. Wanting to go inside to Ella. Ella with nowhere to go. Underneath Alexis Christensen. Her first points of the night. I thought she'd score. That's her first point, first uh, field goal. Thirty to nine. Your score. One thirty-three left to go in the first half. Inside, Ferrar, nice scoop. Abigail Ferrar, six points for the Yellow Jackets. She's a senior. Sadie with Ferrar playing tough on her. They're going to call Ferrar on a foul. I don't know. Hand check, I guess. Going to send Scorstead to the line.
for our, her third. Been a busy night. 18 fouls called between the two teams. Scores dead. Misses on her first attempt. Scores that second attempt short. Rebound, Yellow Jackets. Samassi drops it over. Short shot. Doesn't go underneath, though, for the rebound. But Ella, I'm going to call it jump ball as, as Ella and Bushy get tied up underneath. Yellow Jackets, Tomasi, pass over. Runner doesn't go, but they're going to blow a whistle. And I believe that's going to send uh, Mason to the line, shooting two. Foul called on Alexis Christensen, her second. Forty-three point five left to go in the first half. Cats lead by a score of thirty to eleven. Free throw good for Kendall and Mason. Second shot. Good. Rattles home. Three points now for the freshman. 30 to 13, your score. 40 seconds left here in the first half. Cats looking to finish out their season with a win and finish up at 18-1 and, and head for the playoffs. Gowan on the inbounds. The moving screen. Or something, I heard something about control. That's Haley Mitchell. 30 seconds left. 30 to 13. In the first half, that is. Make it 20 seconds. Bushy. Throws one up. Rebound. Mitchell. Double team. Cat's going to have to push it across here. Gowan. There's Gillespie. Gets it back. Shot off. Scorstead threw one up there at the end, hoping to get it to go in. At the end of the first half, it's your Hazen Union Lady Cats leading the Milton Yellow Jackets by a score of 30 to 13. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Danny on camera will be back in time for the start of the second half. All right, so just about ready to tip off the second half here as your Hayes Union Lady Cats hosting the Milton Yellow Jackets tonight on Senior Night, final regular season game of the year for the uh, Lady Cats. Playoff games next week against the time, date, and opponent to be determined after the seedings come out this weekend. We'll probably know on Monday, hopefully. Uh, Lady Cats leading by a score of 30-13 to 13 is Isabel Gowan with two, Alexis Christensen with two, Bailey Christensen with two, Caitlin Davison has three, six, nine, and six is 15, Sarah Collier one, Julia DeGrosley are two, Ella Gillespie two, and Haley Mitchell with four. We'll get you the Yellow Jackets scoring on all this Incredibly unofficial. I do my best, but I'm sure I've missed some somewhere. Uh, Kendall and Mason with three. Abigail Farrar with six as Caitlin Davison goes in and adds to her total. Um, Grace Williams with four for the Yellow Jackets. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Randy Miller blows his whistle. 
Foul called on Alexis Christensen. That's her third. Your score, 32-13. Danny on camera tonight. It's been a busy week as we talked. We had the uh, boys play last Friday. The girls played Saturday. The boys played last night. A great game against Thetford. Tyler Reaver got his 1,000 points. Tonight we have the girls hosting Milton. Tomorrow night it's the boys hosting Lamoille. One more home game for the boys, regular season next Thursday against Randolph. That'll be their senior night. And like I said, the girls will have a home playoff game at some point next week. Tessa Luther, the barefoot contessa, dances her way through the defense. Playoff game would probably be either Tuesday or Wednesday. Nice scoop up underneath. Miley Bushy, her first points of the night for the freshman. 34-15. Alexis, short shot off the side. Rebound by Bushy. JV girls went undefeated this season. Finished up their season tonight. Allison Blaney had a great season with the JV girls. Three-pointer. Maylee Rutherford. And that one, Julia DeGrosier underneath. That's four points for Julia. It's both teams finding a hoop early here in the second half. Cats currently doubling up the Yellow Jackets, 36-18. And she traveled and she knew it, and she wants that one back. Willow Wright, the senior. <coughs> Isabel Gowan checks in. Alexis Christensen out. KKK Caitlin underneath and Ferrara is going to pick up her fourth foul. Fourth foul for Abigail Ferrara early here in the second half. 5.33 left to go here in the third. 36-18 is going to send Caitlin to the line. Caitlin, first shot goes in and out. Ferrar's going to come out. We're going to have Naya Edwards check in, Grace Williams check in, Willa Wright comes out as well. Caitlin, second shot. Rattles home. 37 18. Isabel Gowan picks the pockets of Maley Rutherford. Caitlin off on that three. Grace Williams comes down with a rebound. Marley Bushy with Tessa on her. Gets it over to Mason. Shot up. That was Rutherford putting that shot up. Caitlin. Dribbles in, passes back out. Tessa Gillespie. Wanted to take it to the hoop. Yellow Jackets defense right there. Caitlin. KKK Caitlin. <laughs> 21 officially. Caitlin Davison. Foul called on Isabel Gowan. We'll send Maley Rutherford to the line, shooting two with 417 left to go here in the third. The cat's up by a score of 40 to 18. Rutherford misses her first one. Rutherford short on her second one as well. Rebound, though, 
by Bushy. Bushy's going to take a shot. Going to go off the rebound. Rebound Julia DeGrosier. Caitlin with Bushy on her. Dishes it over. Tessa gets it over to Isabel. Gillespie. Tessa goes underneath. Gets stripped. Yellow Jackets come up. We're on the far side. That's Mason. Has the ball go out of bounds. Turnover. Tomasi checks back in, and Rutherford comes out. Hailstorm's going to go in, and Julia DeGrosier comes out. Caitlin, nice pass over. Mitchett can't get it to fall. Bushy drives, draws the foul. J.B. McCarthy gives the foul to Ella Gillespie, her second. 3.23 left to go here in the third. Cats in command, 40-18. Bushy does not make her first free throw. Sarah Collier checks in for the Lady Cats. Isabel Gowan out. Caitlin, pass over to Tessa. Caitlin. Up, oh, nope, there's a drop. Ella Gillespie gets the drop. Bushy tried a wild shot, tied up underneath Grace Williams and Haley Mitchell. Going to call a jump ball position arrow, give the ball to the Yellow Jackets. As Sadine Martin checks back in for the Yellow Jackets, Grace Williams comes out. Martin draw pass to Bushy. Bushy with Tessa on her, takes a shot. Doesn't go rebound though. Back up, back up again, still doesn't go. As Sadine Martin was trying to do everything she could underneath there to get uh, something going. Caitlin underneath, Haley right there. Collier back up, rebound, Yellow Jackets. Here's Naya Edwards. Edwards went once again. And they're going to call it backcourt. Tessa on the inbounds. Here's Caitlin with 145 left to go in the third, and they're going to ring up Martin on a foul. Tess is going to inbound. Ella puts that shot up short. Much better. Right. 
Sarah Collier's going to inbounds underneath for Hazen. Caitlin drops a pass inside. Haley Mitchell turn around, doesn't drop. Rebound going up for it was Gillespie, I believe. Foul called on Martin once again. Collier on the inbounds. Gillespie up underneath. Caitlin going to take a three, make a three. K -k 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 Caitlin, 24 points. Caitlin Davison, 118 left to go in the third. Cats up 45 18. Edwards drops a pass, turn around. Doesn't go. Rebound. Tessa tips it to Caitlin. One minute left to go in the third. Shot and the foul. Foul called on Marley Bushy, her fourth. 56 seconds left to go. And Abigail Ferrar will check in for Bushy. At Ferrar playing with four as well. Caitlin at the line looking to complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. And she does. 27 points for the junior. Thirty-five seconds. Cats on the move here in the third. Collier with the ball. Tipped away by Gillespie. Two. Martin. Martin up underneath. Can't get it. Caitlin. She got four blue jerseys around her. Uh, it was uh, Tomasi. I'm sorry, Tomasi. Wide open underneath. Haley Mitchell can't get it to drop. Collier with the rebound. Still 19 seconds. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Set something up here. 14 seconds. Tessa. Inside, throws up a shot, doesn't go, rebound. That is Martin with the rebound. Three seconds, two seconds, long shot taken, short. And at the end of three, it is the Hazen Union Lady Cats leading by a score of 48 to 18. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera, sponsored by Buffalo Mountains Power Sports. 472-5522, We Sport Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Senior night, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's to everybody out there. It's uh, also, what do we see? It's also Quirky Alone Day, International Quirky Alone Day. It's National Call-In Single Day. You can call in single on Valentine's Day if you want to. And it's National Ferris Wheel Day. Not everything associated with Valentine's Day either. Uh, and it in, uh, in 1876, the telephone was patented. And in 1991, the Silence of the Lambs was released. Who was the guy in there? Anthony Hopkins played Hannibal Lecter. Also on this day in 2005, YouTube launched. And in 1987, the number one song on this date was Bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer, from their massive New Jersey album. Alexa short on that one. In the, th in the uh, final quarter now, 48-18. Christensen, three-pointer, nothing but net. Alexis Christensen, five points for the senior. Nice pass underneath. Beautiful move by Kendall and Mason. Gives the freshman five points. Caitlin drops it over to Ella. Ella's going to go out of bounds. 
with 7.05 left. Grace Williams gets a pass over to Tomasi. Tomasi, lefty, pass inside, stolen away by Davison. She was looking for Farrar. And Farrar's going to foul out on that one. A little frustration with referee Randy Miller. And that will send in Chelsea Hemingway. And Marley Bushy will go in and Kendallin Mason will come out. 6.44 left to go in your ballgame, Cats, leading by 30. 50 to 20, your score. Caitlin, good on it. 30 points. Unofficial for Caitlin Davison tonight. Grace Williams throws up a shot. Good. Seven points for Grace Williams tonight. Kind of a line drive three-pointer. Whatever works. Got in there, got a hand on that pass. Comes back up. Williams, nice drop. Oh, I was looking, looking for Tomasi inside, but Caitlin read it. She's looking. And drives and draws the foul. Foul called on Williams. That's her first. Going to send Caitlin to the line. In and out. Good on her second one. And Sadie Scorsted checks in. Davison checks out with 31 points unofficially in this game. Williams out to Hemingway. Hemingway back to Williams. Tomasi throws one up, doesn't go. Rebound, though, is Martin. Her first points, Sadine Martin. Ella Gillespie kind of snuck behind the defense, throws up a shot, doesn't drop. And ball goes out off of Milton. It's going to be white ball with 5.06 left to go in your ball game. Our sponsors, I don't know if I read our sponsors coming into the force. So let's give them a read. Uh, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Danny on camera, of course. We're having some static issues. But I think we got them cleaned up now. I'm not hearing any. I still hear voices, but I don't hear any static. I don't know which is better. Bushy drives inside, can't get that one to go. Rebound. Christensen up ahead to Scorsted. <laughs> Haley mentioned on the inbounds for the Lady Cats. 4.32 left to go in your ballgame. Cats up 54-25. Haley Mitchell takes a three, just barely misses. The entire bench is hoping she'd put it in. Christensen, that'll be a two if it goes. That one's off. Jump ball, possession arrow will give the ball to the Milton Yellow Jackets. And it looks like Haley's been given the free light, green light to throw up a three here. 
Place will explode if she makes them. I love it. Haley plays underneath a lot, so you know what? Give her some chances. Her game has improved so much. I remember watching her as a freshman. She looked like a deer in the headlights out there. Four fouls, though, for Haley. So if she's going to jack up a three, she better do it. Not pick up that fifth. She's going to come out. Julia DeGrosier comes in. But I remember seeing her as a freshman getting in and getting some minutes. And like I said, just looked like a deer in the headlights. And now as a senior, she's just so confident underneath there. Nice shot. I believe that was Tomasi getting that one. And of course, Alexis, I've seen her play all along, you know, from her days as a Bobcat down at Hardwick Elementary. Um, foul called on Grace Williams, and that's going to send Alexis to the line. As I said a couple times, I've seen Alexis play as a Bobcat, as a Wildcat, a Ladycat. I've seen her do the Knights of Columbus free throw contest a lot better than that one. Um, intelligent player. She's deceptively fast. She's like She's kind of like a Larry Bird out there, you know. A bird could kind of fool you. He didn't look that fast. He couldn't really jump. He couldn't do much, but he could beat you every time. And Alexis can play inside. She can play outside. She can shoot the three. She can take it to the hoop. She's great on assists. She plays excellent defense. She's a good all-around player. Turn around, Bushy. And as far as Ella, you know, I've only seen her play this year. Um... Julia, Julia DeGrosier, six points for the freshman. But Ella's been a great addition to the team. She got, gives her some great height underneath there. She plays hard. She's always got a smile on her face. Great attitude. Willow Wright checks in. Uh, Ella Gillespie's going to come out with 3.11 left. Alexis throws up a three, doesn't go. Rebound, Bailey Christensen back out to Tessa. The A and the B of the Christensen connection. That's been special to call with the two sisters out there. Bushy says, I'll take it to the hoop and make it. Take it and make it. 57-31. 2.25 left to go in the ball game. Alexis, the lone senior still out there, yes. Turn around, Julia. Taken away by Williams. Nice move underneath to get the shot. Alexis throws up the three, makes it. Alexis Christensen. Nine points now for Christensen in her final home regular season game. Makes it 60-31 with a minute and a half left. Long shot up, Christensen with the rebound. Underneath, Scorstead wants to go up. Tessa, so back to Christensen. She's going to take another three. Short rebound, Bushy. And Liz Bushy is going to take a full timeout with 113. 60-31 is your score, so the Cats obviously will push their record to 18-1. Once again, their only loss this season came on opening night back on Friday, December 9th at Enosburg. Lost by score 50-41. Since then, they beat Danville, Oxwell, Richford, Virginia at home. They went on the road to Fairfax, beat that one. On the road, Stowe and Milton. 
Home against Winooski. Went back on the road to Richford, Danville, and Winooski. Played Williamstown here at home. Went at Blue Mountain. Fairfax here at home. At Northfield. The game against Stowe got canceled. The game against Twinfield, they won on a forfeit. Beat Blue Mountain this past Saturday, and now they'll beat Milton tonight to finish at 18 and 1. And once again, our JV team finished undefeated as well. Exciting times for Wildcat basketball and Lady Cat basketball. And Alexis Christensen will end her regular season career with a foul as she uh, out there with Chelsea Hemingway. Alexis finishes up with uh, nine points tonight. Ella had four. Haley had four. So. Shot taken, not made. Rebound, Isabel Gowan. One minute left to play in your ballgame. 60-31, your score. Alexis's last regular season field goal, though, a three-pointer. Cats, I think, will just probably move the ball around, maybe run some clock. Here's Scorstead over to Tessa. Julia wanted to turn around, can't get it to go. Bailey throws up a shot, doesn't drop. Rebound by Martin. 29 seconds left. Caitlin Davison finished up with 31 points into, uh, unofficially tonight. So we will wait and see for the seedings to come out on Monday to see when and who we play. We know it'll be here at the Den next week. Once again, boys playing tomorrow night against Lamoille. Then they go on the road for a couple, and then they're going to come back home next Thursday and, and close out their season against Randolph. So your regular season ender for the Hazen Union Lady Cat girls, a 60-31 victory over the Milton Yellow Jackets, pushes their record to 18-1. You've been watching Lady Cats basketball here on HCTV, channel 1080 on the cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Lance all with the call. Danny on camera. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Until next time, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye.